بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر وائی دا فیو مور ایگزامپلز آن دس بولین الجبرا ایگزامپلز اگین ا فیو وی ڈسکسڈ ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر اینڈ ٹوڈے ا فیو مور ناٹ ویری مچ اوکے سو دا فرسٹ ون دا فرسٹ ون اف دا ڈے از ا فنکشن از گیون اف از ایکول ٹو a b plus a b complement c plus a b complement c complement all right so what do we have to do with this one we have to simplify okay so first of all if you look a is common in all the three so taking a common a So this would be B plus B complement C plus B complement C complement. All right. In the last lecture, I told you that A plus A complement B is equal to A plus B. So if this B is the A and this C is the B, so A plus A complement B is equal to A plus B. So have a look. A is in its own place, B is in its own place, and the B complement C is replaced by by the C, and plus B complement C complement again over here. Again the same property. B plus B complement C complement. Again the same property applies. A is it is in on its own place. C is on its own place, and B plus B complement C results in what? Plus uh, B is on its own place, and C complement comes in. All right. Now C plus C complement is what? Is one. Zero plus one is a one. One plus zero is a one. So zero plus one is a one. Yes. So this would be what? A again over here, B over here, and C plus C complement is one. Now, so anything odd with one is one, which means B odd with one is one, and this whole thing is simplified into an A. All right. The second question: F is equal to A plus B plus C. A function is given a plus b plus c, a plus b complement plus c, a plus b plus c complement. This is the function. You have to apply the Boolean algebra rules and simplify. All right. So first of all, what do I do for the simplification? Is that I let a plus b to a value. Let a plus b is equal to let's say x. All right. So this would be what f is equal to x plus c. This is a plus b complement, so it would be the same. And then we have what x plus c complement. If I shuffle them up, I change the orders by the associative law a, uh, or let me write it with this color. A times b times c is the same as a times c times b. So which means I can change the color. Ah, uh, sorry, the order. And write it like this. All right. Now, a plus b into a plus c is equal to what? This is an a plus b. The other is an a plus c. So this would be multiplication. Give you a plus b c. So a plus b c. Now look, a. Plus c times c complement results from here, and a plus b complement plus c 
is the same. C into C complement is what? It's zero. C into C complement is zero. Zero into one is zero. One into zero is zero. Okay. So this would be what? And again, back putting a value of x. Back putting. Or back substituting. So f would be equal to f would be equal to what? A plus b times a plus b complement plus c. Now again have a look. A plus b into a plus c is equal to a plus b. So here uh, b is b and the c is b complement plus c. So I can write this function as a plus b into b complement plus c. Okay? And now again the distributive law, a into b plus c is what? a into b plus c is a b plus a c. So, over here I have it. A would be in its own place plus B into B complement and plus B into C. So B into B complement is again 0. I've written up. So this would be 0. And the function's value reduces to what? To A plus B C. Alright. So I believe what do you say? Let's say do another one. An, an easy one, an easy one. Okay? So I remove the first one now. Okay. So let me do an easy one. A function is given g. This is the third one. Is equal to a plus b into a plus b complement into a complement plus b into a complement plus b complement all right so again the distributive law is used a plus b into a plus c is what a plus b c so have a look it would be like this a plus b and c is b complement all right and similarly over here it would be A complement plus B times B complement. Alright? Alright. Now B into B complement is 0. B into B complement is again 0. So this results in A plus 0. And A complement plus 0. Which results into A. And this into A complement. And A into A complement is 0. So this function has been simplified to zero. All right. So I believe that's enough for this lecture. We end it over here. See you in the next lecture very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Till then, till the next lecture. Goodbye.